Hello everyone, my name is Alastair Wilkie. Um, I have been working in the submarine cable industry for a number of years. And according to a recent book by Guillaume Patron, which is uh, a journey of a like written in French, he called me a grognard. Now that is either a veteran or a grumpy old man. I'll let you as a viewer to decide which one I am. So when I first started with STC in 1988, one of the first jobs I did was to work on the NPC lay, North Pacific Cable. And this was a cable that ran from Yokohama in Japan with a branch to Alaska to Pacific City in Oregon. During the installation of this cable on the cable ship Cable Venture, which at the time was a fairly old lady um, and is now designed as ru ru rusted razor blades, we had encountered a storm on the 15th of November 1990 and during this storm, the ship was holding the cable quite safely. Um, and then the storm built up and the, there is a video on YouTube for you to follow if you wish. Um, the, the storm got worse and worse. And um, I was initially resting, trying to sleep, uh, eventually ended up with my belongings all scattered around my cabin and decided that the best thing to do was find out how the test room was, where she was in the center castle of the ship. And finding that when I stuck my head out my cabin door, a four drawer filing cabinet was sailing its way down the alleyway to, towards the other end. Uh, realizing this was slightly worse than we thought, I made my way to the test room, which was fine. Which was good. The test room was good. The rest of the ship was not in a good way. Um, and for the first time ever, I think the chief cable engineer afterwards came to the bar and had whiskey. We'd never seen Stan Elliott drink ever on a ship, but it was good to see him at least relaxing and enjoying a drink. After that, we decided that the best thing to do was go to port. So we went to Dutch Harbor in Unalaska, which was the first time I'd been to Alaska. Um, Dutch Harbor is a strange half Russian, half American city, town, where the runway of the airport is the main road as well so the runway shuts the main road as you go across but it was it was good fun um, and we had a, a day a, a night ashore I believe we had a couple of nights ashore um, and we we enjoyed our time in Unalaska before setting sail again and we hit um, Astoria just after uh, Christmas in 1990 so my first Christmas away from the family but we enjoyed it until the very end of the trip and the ship ran aground as we went into Astoria. Um, cut the corner too much. Obviously the pilot said it wasn't to blame and the captain was to blame. So we waited four or five hours before we could actually get off the ship and eventually fly back home. And I made it without my luggage, which had got lost somewhere in the, uh, the wild of beyond, probably Los Angeles or San Francisco, we never know. And we ended up, uh, I got home just in time for Christmas Eve, uh, New Year's Eve, sorry, New Year's Eve. And it was great. So that was the first real storm that I'd seen at sea. Um, since then, I've been back to sea a number of times, never really saw the same weather again, thankfully, although I believe many of my colleagues on cable ships have. And I think it's well worth watching the video for those who've never been to sea, as to see the power of the sea and what nature can throw at us. Uh, we're all here and we're all safe. No lives were lost. And I think that's the safest thing for all of us. Thank you.